Hello, hello, everyone. Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, depending on the part of the world that you all are. My name is Elder. I'm an academic advisor at the London School of Design and Marketing. And I would like to welcome you all to the last open day of 2022 that we're going to perform this year to welcome our students to the generous intake that is going to start in less than one month. So with us, we have here a team of academic advisors that are going to support this presentation. I would like to ask you all to keep your microphones muted during the presentation. And if you have any questions or any inquiries, you can always use the chat box to write some questions, some comments that we can then address at the end of the session, or if it is adequate, we can address them along the presentation. Okay, so I believe that we are ready to start. So I would like to first talk to you a little bit about what is LSTM, who we are and what we do. LSTM, London School of Design and Marketing was founded in 2016 with the purpose of delivering educational training online to people from all over the world. At the moment, we have a staff of more than 30 people spread all over. And also we have students from more than 80 countries. Actually, for the next intake, we expect people from more than 100 countries. That's why I also invite you to write in the chat box, to write where you are from, to understand the dimension of the school and how worldwide we are spread. All of this wouldn't be possible without the accreditation of the University for the Creative Arts, which is the entity, the institution that is responsible for accrediting our bachelor's degrees and our master's degrees. Despite LSTM is quite a recent institution, the UCA has more than 160 years of history and it is ranked specialist in this area, design and marketing in the UK. Also, we are proud to say that we are credited by the winner of the TEF Gold Award for Teaching Excellence. So this provides our content, accreditation, quality, and as well, credibility. Now you can see here how LSTM is collaborating with the UCA, meaning that the all our students have the opportunity to attend a graduation event in London. So despite we're talking about an online training, there's also the possibility to interact and to meet your tutors, your peers, some courses, and probably some of us advisors that will help you through all the process. Now, why LSTM? We're talking about a 100% digital course, which we believe it is equal to flexibility. This means that you can study anytime, anywhere, at your own pace, in three different languages. At the moment, our courses are provided in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. This represents an excellent value for money taking into consideration that you're going to have the opportunity to enroll in a training program with subject matter experts. Also, you will be getting a UK degree at a much affordable price comparing with traditional on-campus universities. Now, let's talk a little bit about the learning experience. Our learning experience is non-traditional. Despite we're talking about an online program, our contents are delivered in two different ways, in an asynchronous way and in a synchronous way, meaning that you will have the opportunity to study independently, focusing on the content that is delivered on a weekly basis on your platform and at a flexible and own pace matter. So this will help you guide and uh, maintain your study program 
at your own pace. At the same time, you can also take advantage of the support of tutors, course leaders, and also your peers, your colleagues. Like I said, despite we're talking about an online course, it doesn't mean that you're going to be alone. You're going to have the opportunity to collaborate directly with uh, colleagues, uh, with your own peers from the course. And also you will have the support of your tutors and also of your course leaders that are going to guide you through all the process of the course. In order to understand what we offer, we need to understand exactly how we are going to work. When we're talking about an online course, you're going to use a tool that we call the Campus Online, which is our central hub. So here you can see a print screen of what it looks like. Basically here on this platform, you will have access to all the content that you are going to need to perform your assessments, your tasks. You will have access to a knowledge center composed by different tools, like for example, libraries that you can use for your tasks, for your assessments, and also some websites that can be useful for understanding more how the market works, both on the fields of marketing and design. All of these tools are important when we're talking about digital learning. So that's why we try to take the most advantage possible of them by delivering you free access to these tools while you are enrolled in the course. What we're going to now understand is what we offer in terms of the courses. We have two different types of courses. We have undergraduate courses, which we call the bachelor's degree with honors. And these have a duration of 27 months. When we talk about 27 months, we talk about three academic periods. It's not three years because we do not follow the traditional chronogram of all traditional or on-campus universities. So which means that you can complete a bachelor's degree in a little more than two years. This will award you a bachelor's degree with honors issued by the University for the Creative Arts, which corresponds to 360 EUK credits. In terms of entry requirements, we have some notes here that are probably interesting for you to understand and to understand also the eligibility for you to enroll in our courses. Both for the design and marketing, there are two ways where you can enroll in our courses. You can enroll through secondary indication, where you should provide us a high school diploma, and also some other documents for us to assess and understand the eligibility. Apart from this, you can also enroll through professional experience. And for that, we require that the students have a relevant professional experience of more than three years. And for that, they should provide this proof of that through two reference letters. A similar process in terms of our entry requirements is for the postgraduate degrees. When we talk about our master's degrees, we also talk about master's degrees in marketing and design. And for this, you can enroll through higher education where we demand and we require that the students provide us a bachelor's degree that is relevant in the area, along with a motivation letter and the CV and the national ID. One remark that is important to understand is if you are considering to enroll in our design programs, you would also need to provide us a portfolio so that it could be assessed by the course leader to understand if you have the necessary skills to enroll in an art design course. Okay. Apart from these courses, which are accredited from the University of the Creative Arts, we also give the opportunities to the students to enroll 
on what we call some executive short courses. These short courses, they last 16 weeks. And for that, okay, we only require students to provide us a diploma, a bachelor's degree diploma, and you can have an insight about what the master's degree is like, taking advantage of the contents that are delivered on those courses. So again, for the short courses, we have two options. One related with design, which is design innovation, and the, the marketing short course where you will be focusing the unit trend forecasting and analytics. So this complements the offer that we have in terms of curriculum of the school. So again, we have bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, which we call the postgraduate courses and the undergraduate courses, and also the short courses that are last 16 weeks. Now, let's take a look a little bit about how the application process works. The application process and admission offers four intakes per year. At the moment, as most of you probably are aware, we are conducting applications for the January's intake, which is going to start in, or in this case, on the 16th of January. There are a few steps that you should follow, and we're going to try and show you what to do so that you leave this presentation with a bigger understanding about how the application process works. First thing first, you should select the right course for you. And sometimes our candidates are not quite aware about what the right course is for them. So that's why it is important and we always encourage students or candidates to schedule a meeting with an academic advisor. On this session, you will have an understanding about how the course works, what the curriculum is, what content, what units we will assess, along also with the requirements in terms of documents, eligibility, and we will be available to clear doubts that you may along have the way. After scheduling this meeting and after getting a clear assessment through your academic advisor, you are ready to apply to start the application. And all of this process is going to be conducted online. You will be conducting this process through our website and you are going to fill the information that is going to be required and upload the documents on a form that will then be sent to the student's office, which will analyze your application. And if you are approved, you will receive our offer to enroll and start classes on the given intake. After accepting this offer, you should complete your registration process and you're ready to start. So these steps are going to be always assessed through an academic advisor, such as myself, so that you can guarantee that you will start your course with all the information required and without any doubts whatsoever. Now, let's talk about fees and prices. So here we have the fees for both our bachelor's degrees and master's degrees. There is some fees that are considered into this whole process. The first one is the application fee. This application fee should be paid upon the moment of the application where you upload the content, the documents, and when you fill the information on the form that is provided. Students are expected to pay an application fee of 165 British pounds, both for the bachelor's degrees and the master's degrees. After being validated, the offer that you will receive corresponds to the tuition fee. And this tuition fee is different from the bachelor's degrees and the master's degrees, where on the bachelor's degrees, we have a total amount for the 27 months of the course of 9,405 pounds, which 
can be paid in three installments of 3,315 pounds. For the postgraduate courses, the same process applies in terms of the application fee. You should also pay the application fee for validating the documents. And also in terms of tuition fee, you will pay a one-time fee for the 12 months program. This one-time fee corresponds to 5,225 British pounds. Again, all of these fees and methods of payment are going to be clearly stated during the interview so that you can assure that these amounts are going to be the only amounts that you will be required to pay if you complete the course successfully within the period of time that we uh, demand for the course, okay? So I encourage you to learn more about our program and our courses and uh, our history. We have been on the market for nearly five years. And luckily we have students that have successfully completed our courses and can give testimonials about how beneficial this course has been for them. All of these testimonials, you can find them online on our website. You should also try to get some engagement on the social media where we promote different types of events such as webinars, master classes, and uh, even some uh, uh, job offers that some of our students may require for their tasks. Remember, studying online doesn't mean studying independently. You need to engage online digitally. And for that, you will have the support of a worldwide community that is now expecting to help and to take the biggest advantage of the what the course provides. I would like to thank you all for this time expended on the presentation. And uh, I would like to hear now some remarks that you might have regarding our course, our presentation, or any inquiries that you might have about how the application works. Okay. So um, you can write them on the chat box, or if you are free, you are free to open your microphone and uh, talk to us and uh, let us help you a little bit understanding about what we can provide and what the London School of Design and Marketing can offer you, okay? So do we have any questions from the audience? Okay, so at the moment we have some candidates here that I believe that are already being followed by some academic advisors. So that could be the time also for you to live understand more and to give some remarks of your experience on this application process. I have one question. So let me just see who is talking. So... Ah, sorry, I don't have the camera. <laughs> no My name is Tal. <laughs> Hello, Tal, how are you? Good, good. Excellent. So... I, I have two questions. One, uh, do you open uh, in April as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, you, you were asking me if we start the courses in April, is that it? I know you start in January, but I want to understand if you start in April as well. Yes, okay, yeah. So LSTM offers four intakes a year. Oh, okay, so um, the, as I said, right now we are conducting applications for the January's intake but we are already also um, accepting uh, uh, applications for the April's intake. Actually, <laughs> there's a typo here on the presentation. I just noticed that uh, the four intakes that we have available are January, April, July, and October, not December. So December is the current month that we are right now. So uh, answering to your question, yes, Tal. So we offer uh, applications in April. So that's uh, our second intake. We call it the spring intake in, in London. So but it's going to start in April or it's going to start in July or June? No, 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 no. We have January, April, July, and October. Ah, okay, nice. Yeah. And the second question is every Monday or every 
every week you yeah. open the contact of the week like mm -hmm. and the records and the task so it's mm -hmm. not all the year is going to be open just for one week I totally understand your question. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. So Tal, uh, when you enroll, it's not that you have access to the full course. So uh, it's not how it works on on campus universities. And uh, we have decided also to use this type of method so that the student can have the proper engagement along the course and also along the peers. So you will not be working uh, or studying independently here. Okay, so you will be assessed by the tutors and the course leaders, but also with peers. So we expect the students from the April intake, let's say, to be on the same stage every week. Okay, so that you can also collaborate with them on the assessments or on the unit contents on the tasks that are provided. So again, yes, so the content is delivered weekly on a weekly basis. So every Monday, you will have access to new content. There will be some tasks that are going to be proposed by your tutors. Uh, if for some instance, let's say you are not available to comply with those tasks on that following week, you can always go back and try to catch up if you missed a certain task or assessment or content. Was that clear at all? Yes, thank you very much. I have last question. No, no Do you recommend to work a full-time job <laughs> during, like it is possible to work full-time job or not? I, I think that the question here is not if I recommend, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yes, but what, what happens nowadays is that uh, more than 80% of our students they are working professionals. Right? And uh, we, we do not have many students that are 100% dedicated to the academia, let's say. <laughs> so most of our students, they are working professionals. They have full-time or part-time jobs. And uh, in terms of uh, benefit, it is beneficial if you are working in the area. Right? For example, if you are working in design or if you are working in marketing, you have the opportunity to transpose what you are working at or learning at to our course. So this is something that we um, encourage our students to do right? so that you can take advantage of the course both at school but also at work. Uh, but it will require you so, to manage your time as any other course. Okay? So we expect students to dedicate, dedicate between five hours to 10 weekly hours to the platform okay? on a weekly basis. This is something that is very subjective, of course. So depending on the expertise of the student, on how comfortable the students are with the content, but it is possible. Okay? we have proof that it is possible. Okay, so like I said, 80% of our students are at the moment working professionals, working full-time, but it will demand extra effort and dedication so that you can comply with all the tasks that are demanded, both for our master's degrees and also bachelor's degrees. Right? Is this the case, Tom? Are you, are you currently a full-time uh, worker? Yes, that your answer is uh, good. So thank you. <laughs> you and 80% of our students. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And where are you from, Tom? Uh, I'm from Israel, but I live in Berlin now. So oh, I live in Germany. Okay. Okay. Very well. Yeah. Okay. So that's the thing. Um, uh, in terms of um, time zones, and this is something that is also uh, interesting to discuss. So since our um, students are spread all over the world, so right at the moment you are in an European time frame, right? But we also have students that are in Asia, in South America, in Africa, North America, basically worldwide. And uh, this here, the, the fact that you are willing and uh, that you are, uh, that you can access the course at any time, will allow you to manage your time and you not having the requirement of being at a specific time or day uh, in front of your computer, okay? Assessing the content. However, 
there are some synchronous moments, as I mentioned before, like, for example, the master classes, the webinars, or even some assessments that are going to be conducted on a specific day or time. Right? And for that, uh, apart from the assessments, we do not require that the students are present there, right? but we will record all the events that are going to be conducted live, including this one that we're having today. So uh, these events are going to be uh, recorded and stored on your online campus so that you can future assess them. Okay, Tan? Yes, thank you. Excellent, no worries. Okay, so do we have any other questions from the audience? So we, I can see I have some other candidates here, Elisa, Fatina. Um, do you want to give us some remarks? No? Okay, so with that, I will conclude this presentation. Again, I advise you, if you are not still being followed by an academic advisor, please uh, fill, on, uh, fill in the contact form, which is available on our website. An academic advisor will be um, assessed to you so that you can ask all the questions necessary and uh, that you can enroll in our courses fully engaged, fully aware about how the experience works. Thank you very much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed this session and I look forward to seeing you in our future sessions uh, along the year. Okay. So thank you very much, everyone. Have a lovely day.